Alright, man. I'm finna get up. This would work for me. I'm pretty sure it'll work for you. Um, and if it doesn't, just tweak it a little bit and do what works best for you. But this is what works for me. Um, so I did get a bachelor's degree in accounting, but I knew like once I graduated, I didn't want to do accounting. Uh, I figured that out later on. So it was better for me to just finish the degree than to try to change my major. So once I graduated, I was already working uh, in IT for top off. So, boom, after I got uh, my degree, I uh, moved to Atlanta to uh, work for top off. I was working as a facilities manager and I was over like the game system and IT and stuff. So, I already had that on my resume. But I did do a boot camp. So I went to a boot camp just because I tried to do the self learner certification route where I just studied for a certification and tried to get the certification. That didn't work for me. I know people that it worked for. So if you want one of the people that can self learn and teach yourself, um, I would say that's a good route instead of going to a boot camp. Um, the boot camp is a whole nother video in itself, but. So I went to the boot camp, which if nobody know what a boot camp is, a tech boot camp is just basically a course, um, online course that you take and it's instructor led, and they give you a curriculum to help you learn things in cybersecurity. So, boom, you want to get that foundational knowledge one way or another, whether that's going on YouTube, whether that's um, doing a, a boot camp or online course, or that's trying to self learn and study on your own, um, then going to take a certification. So once I finished the, the boot camp, um, I started studying for certification. While studying for a certification, I started applying for IT help desk roles. Why IT help desk roles? Because they just put something on your resume to show that you have foundational knowledge and that you can um, troubleshoot, basically. And once you land a IT or help desk role, you can put that on your resume and leverage that to get you into uh, IT security or cyber security. So, boom. Once you build that strong foundation of knowledge, then 
you, like I said, you will want to um, start applying for help desk roles. And after you get that help desk role, that's when you will want to start getting professional certifications within that niche field that you want to go to. So cyber security, cloud security, whatever you want to, whichever lane you want to go into, you'll want to get certifications to prove that you have the knowledge to be in that field. So um, that would be the next thing I would say. Start studying, scoping out the certif certifications that's in the field that you want to go into. Um, so once you obtain that certification, then start applying for roles uh, within that field. So um, once you start applying for roles within that field, um, the best way to up the chances of getting a role is is to get on LinkedIn and connect with anybody that's in security in, in general, but to like pinpoint where you want to go, you want to like Google, well not Google, but uh, get on LinkedIn and, and go to a company that you want to work for, any tech company, and see if they have the role that you uh, want to be in. And if someone is in their role, connect with them on LinkedIn. So just add them on LinkedIn, see the things they post. You can go through their um, certification, see if they have any certain certifications, see if uh, the company has their position uh, open, if they have a job opening for it, see in the description what things that, that you need and check those things off on your resume. So just to make your resume look like the job listing. So then once you do that, um, you just apply, man. Just keep applying. You gotta stay consistent, not gonna come overnight. Um, and once you keep applying, and once you land that role, then you will want to um, continue to learn and build in like a portfolio. Um, or things that are projects or things that you have done within that company and that's the way you crack the code we get into cybersecurity. So I would say first thing first thing is to build a strong foundation of knowledge of like regular networking computer foundational skills um and knowledge. Two I would say if you need it, take an online course. Um, though it helps you navigate the way you want to go. So be a, take an online course or go on YouTube, self-study. But you need to learn, just keep learning. I would say get a certification. Certification just so that you have the knowledge that they're looking for. And a lot of companies going to ask for certifications. I think certifications hold more weight than degrees, honestly. Um, get the get the certification, and then it gives you leverage. So, boom. Then four, three or four, whatever number. I'm on. <laughs> you want to network? Network. Go on LinkedIn. Build that community. Build that that network. Um, it's LinkedIn helped me a lot. LinkedIn helped me land every role that I ever had. So, uh, go on LinkedIn and build that network. And then, two, just I mean, two, four, five, whatever number I'm on. <laughs> but I have um, yeah, cut. But yeah, it's a lot. Um, it's a lot of programs out there to help you build, to help you break into cybersecurity. So it's a lot of free programs out there to help you break into cybersecurity. So like, I know Microsoft do apprenticeships. I know SANS give out a lot of free, have a lot of free programs to get you into. Um, Cybersecurity and they give certifications. That's what I have got my certifications in. Um, 
certifications from. Um, so it's a lot of free programs out there that help you either, they pay you to learn. So I have done a apprenticeship where they pay me to learn. So um, they pay, pay you to learn, they pay you to get the experience that you need. Apprenticeships are ideal, but if you have to take an internship or do free projects, uh, it's, it just depends on how bad you want it. Um, so it's a lot of lot of opportunities out there to break into cybersecurity. You just have to go out there and look for them. It's a lot of different ways you can break into it, but this is what works best for me. So yeah, peace.